Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan Puperi. I'm back. So this is sort of an interlude to my videos on making blood vessels because one thing we're concerned about, you know, especially in BME, is not just how blood flows through our blood vessels, but what happens when we have blockages in the blood vessels. And so I want to show you how we can make some decently realistic blockages in these blood vessels. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how to do spheres. Um, and then you could take and expand that to make any shape you really want. But we'll start with doing a sphere. And so I just made something really simple to start. Um, you know, I just made a, a straight uh, surface cylinder that will be our blood vessel, and we want to put a blockage in here. And so the first thing we need to do is define where that blockage will be. And so I want, I want to make basically a sphere that's centered on the wall of one of these. So we need to define where that actual blockage will be centered. And so we're going to need some reference geometry to do that. So we have our one plane here, uh, which defined kind of the uh, sketch for the vessel itself. We also have the top plane. I'm going to show that so we can see it, which really defines like the plane that we drew our sketch in in the first place. And that's kind of this, the plane the blood vessel is going in. And so now we need to define where we want this uh, blockage located in our blood vessel. And so I'm going to just offset this plane somewhere down here. So that will define the distance along this axis where we want it. So we can easily do that by doing insert reference geometry plane. We're going to start with this one. Uh, we're going to offset it. I don't know, say 20 millimeters. Okay, so that's where our uh, blockage is going to occur. So we have two planes now. We have the top plane and we have this uh, other plane where the blockage is going to occur. In order to find that point for the center of our sphere, we need one more plane, which we want to make basically along the tangent of this edge. So I think the best way to do that is first make sure we have a plane that is um, perpendicular here to this, this sketch in the first place. And so actually there's probably one already the right plane. Yeah, the right plane's already like that. Um, but just to be sure, you know, I'll just show you how we can make that. So I'll say insert reference geometry plane. Okay, and I can select, so it's already selected plane too. I didn't want to do that. I can select this uh, line here, but we, then we want to make it perpendicular top plane, so we select the top plane. And so you can see that's the plane we want. Okay, so we fully define that. Okay, and that gives us the plane down the center line, but that's not what we want. We want one that is tangent. Okay, and so I happen to make this blood vessel. Um, what's the diameter I made? I can look that up by looking at the sketch. Okay, the diameter or the radius of that is six. So that means if I want a plane that's right on the edge, I need to offset this plane by six. So I can say insert reference geometry plane. And I just want to offset it by six millimeters. Right, and that gives us exactly what we want. Okay, we now have three planes there. We have the top plane, we have plane four and we have plane two. I'm going to hide these other planes. So plane one we don't need anymore. Plane three we don't need anymore. We just need those three planes that are going to define that point. And so in order to define the point, we need to define uh, the intersection of two lines. And so we're first going to define the two lines by the planes, and then we'll define the intersection of those two lines. So I can do insert reference geometry axis. Again, we can define any two lines out of these. So I'm going to use the top plane and say plane two, right? And that gives me a, an axis right down the middle of those, right through our middle of our blood vessel. That's good. And now I want to do one more. So I say insert reference geometry axis. And I'll do plane two and plane four. We'll put the line intersecting those two. Right, so we have those axes, and now we just want to define the point where we're going to have our center of our, uh, our blockage sphere, which will be at the intersection of those two axes. So I can say insert reference geometry point, and I can, of course, just select the two axes, and it will put a point there. Let's call it point one. Okay, so that's really what we need. Uh, I can hide all these other things now. Well, actually, I'm going to need plane four because that's where we're going to draw our sketch. But I could hide plane two. I can hide the top plane. I can hide these axes. 
I actually need this other axis in a second. Um, but right now we have all we need. So let's go ahead and draw a sketch of a circle that we're going to use to make a sphere. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to say sketch on that plane. I'm going to draw a sketch or a circle that is centered at our point. I can make it whatever radius I want. Um, you know, I, let's say let's make it let's make it pretty big. Let's make it 10. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a sphere of this by revolving that circle around the axis. So I got to exit sketch first. And now I can say insert surface revolve. We're going to use that sketch and we're going to revolve it around this axis right here. And so it makes us a nice sphere. And so you can see that's a pretty big blockage, but that's okay. That's what we want, we're going for. We wanted something big. Okay, now I can remove all this other geometry that I don't want to see. I can hide this. I can hide an axis. Okay, now we could theoretically try to run the flow simulation, but I found that um, we really would like to trim away the parts that we don't need. Um, I've had trouble doing both the thicken when I try to make it a solid and trying to run flow sim when there's these like extra volumes that don't really have anything going on. So if we can just get rid of all that, that will help us a lot. So remember the flow sim is gonna happen in here and there's gonna be that blockage, but we wanna get rid of some of this extra parts over here. And so we can use the trim tool to do that. We can say insert surface trim. Okay, and we're gonna do a mutual trim because we wanna trim both the parts of the ball we don't need and the parts of the blood vessel we don't need. So I'm gonna select these two surfaces and yeah, this is where we can probably want to choose which parts we want to remove. Okay, so I'm going to remove this outside part of the ball. We don't want that. And we also don't want this part of the um, our cylinder where our blood vessel is. And again, that's just because I've had trouble with this when there's that empty volume in there that, you know, we're not really flow simming. It just doesn't always work. And sometimes we get some errors and it's just easier to get rid of those errors by just cutting it out. We don't need it, right? We just need that interior of the blood vessel. So that's a pretty bad blockage, but it's there. Um, and so we can go ahead and it looks like it's gonna work, sit okay. Yeah, so we have a nice blockage there. Um, the other thing we could do to make it prettier is we can you know, fill out the edges. And so I can do that. So I can say insert surface fillet Click on that. Uh, I have to choose a smaller radius than 10 millimeters to do that. So I'm going to just try 0.5 maybe. Okay, so 0.5 would work. Um, you can you know you can choose whatever radius you want. Right, so it gives us a nice filleted edge, nice smooth edge, and now we're basically ready. Right, we could go ahead and thicken this surface um, and use it for flow simulation. So great. But the other thing I want to show you is now, if we, maybe we don't like that blockage. It's pretty easy to actually modify this. Now that we've done everything, we can go back and roll back, right? And we can redefine uh, how we want to make this. So maybe we didn't want such a big blockage, all right? Maybe, you know, we didn't want a sphere centered right there at the middle. So let's go ahead. I can actually move this plane where we drew, right? Remember, we defined that plane as being six uh, millimeters away from the center plane, I could change that. So I can right click on this and say edit feature. Instead of being six millimeters away, let's say let's make it 10 millimeters away. So it makes that offset a little further. Right, it actually redid uh, that. So it's not as big as blockage anymore. Right, if I wanted to actually change maybe the radius of that too to make it even a, a different size blockage, I can edit this sketch click on that circle. I can change the radius. Let's, let's just change it to nine just to prove I can change it. We exit the sketch. It redoes the revolve. It changes the dimensions there. So it's, you can see it's not quite as big as blockage. Now it looks like if I can just roll back down, I got the trim working for me. I roll back down to the fillet. I got that working for me, right? We already just altered the geometry pretty easily and we can run now another flow sim and compare the two blockages we just made to each other. So SolidWorks makes that really easy. Um, I know it takes some work to getting it set up, but once you get it set up, you can roll back all these things and then just start redefining everything. And it's pretty easy to do and then roll back down. So with that, 
you guys can kind of, that was kind of the interlude uh, to how to make a blockage, but we'll go back the next several videos and talk about just running flow sim on the, the blood vessels that we made previously.